Hi, we're going to be working on run-on sentences. A run-on sentence um, has way too many complete ideas. And so your job will be to break a run-on sentence into shorter sentences. And remember, a sentence is a group of words with a complete thought. Um, and so we're going to look at some sentences, and we're going to break them up and correct them to make sure that they make sense. So the first one... And remember, all of these are going to be run-on sentences, so they have way too much information. Um, oftentimes, you can tell a run-on sentence because you're trying to say all of these words in one breath, but you're not able to, and you run out of breath. Okay, for example, the mouse ran from the cat, he went into a tiny hole. Um, this has more than one complete thought. So if I was looking at this and saying, okay, well, what are the complete thoughts? Um, the first complete thought the mouse ran from the cat. I couldn't put a big circle around this. This is one complete thought. It tells me the naming part of the mouse and that the mouse was running from the cat, which would be the action. He went into a tiny hole. That could be another complete thought. That would be another complete sentence. So I could also put another circle around he went into a tiny hole. So I'm gonna just kind of put a half of a circle there and then circle this bottom portion here. So this is me and I'm just circling where my complete thoughts are. Um, I can also look at this and add punctuation and I can turn it into two sentences because there are two complete thoughts. So the first sentence, and it already is starting with a capital, the mouse ran from the cat. I would just put a period here for the next complete thought, the next sentence. He went into a tiny hole. I just need to turn this lowercase h into an uppercase h, and I'm going to add my, my period there. So he went into a tiny hole. I changed it from being a run-on sentence into two complete thoughts. Here's another one. The hungry bear caught fish in the stream. The fish were fast. Um, so notice how you're trying to jam all of that information, too much information, too many complete ideas. Um, we've got to break it into shorter sentences. The hungry bear caught fish in the stream. The fish were fast. Okay, so where do we want to break it? The hungry bear caught fish in the stream. That tells what the hungry bear did, that it caught fish that were in the stream. That's the action part. So if I'm breaking this into complete thoughts, I'm going to first put a big circle around one complete thought, and then I'm going to put my circle around my second complete thought. I'm going to add in my punctuation. So the hungry bear caught fish in the stream. That's where I'm going to put my period. That's the end of my complete thought. It's not asking a question. It's not saying anything in an excited voice. I wouldn't need to put a question mark or an exclamation mark there. Um, the fish were fast. I could put an exclamation mark there if I want to. I'm going to just put a period, though, because I'm going to kind of stick with that. Um, the fish were fast. So now if I look at it, it's not a run-on sentence anymore. They're complete sentences because there are complete thoughts. The hungry bear caught fish in the stream. The fish were fast. So if I was looking for the action and naming parts, which is what we were working on yesterday or earlier, um, the fish were fast. So the naming part is the fish, and what were they? The action, they were fast. All right, next one. This one has a lot of words, and it doesn't have any punctuation. We're going to go ahead and start by putting a period there. All right, the turtle and the fox played hide and seek. The fox could not find the turtle. He looked everywhere. Whew. Well, that's a lot of information. All right, let's look at it and try to figure out what the complete thoughts are. The turtle and the fox, blah, 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 blah. hold up, let me try again. All right, the turtle and the fox played hide and seek. That's a complete thought. It's talking about the naming parts would be the turtle and fox. And what did they do? The action is that they played hide and seek. So I'm going to put my circle around this. That tells the complete thought. Um, let's read the next part. The fox could not find the turtle. He looked everywhere. 
that actually is more than one complete thought. That's two more thoughts. This one actually has three complete thoughts. The fox could not find the turtle. That's a complete thought. He couldn't find the turtle. So he's looking, could not find, and then the turtle goes with that. He looked everywhere. And this is referring to the fox. All right, now we're gonna go back and add in our capitals and our punctuation so that we are breaking them into shorter sentences. So the turtle and the fox played hide and seek, period. Capital T for the. The fox could not find the turtle, period. Next complete thought, capital H. He looked everywhere. I'm going to actually turn this into an exclamation mark. He looked everywhere. He can't find them. The turtle probably had a really good hiding spot. Um, this is all about run on and complete sentences. Um, and how you need to break a run on into smaller, shorter sentences so that you can keep your ideas organized and that your ideas will make sense.